In this video, I.O. peripherals are integrated with microcontroller AT89S52. Hexadecimal count is displayed on 7 segment display and input push buttons are used to determine the direction of count. A circuit diagram of the interface is shown here. We have a common cathode 7 segment uh, display is interfaced to the microcontroller through port uh, P3 from pins P3.0 to pins P3.6. We also have uh, two push buttons connected to port uh, P0 through pins P0.0 and P0.1. Now port 0 does not have any pull-up resistor, so the pull-up resistance must be provided through these uh, push buttons. The microcontroller is coded in such a way is that if no button is pressed, a flashing uh, letter P will appear on the 7 segment display indicating that a button has to be pressed. If we press the count up button then a hexi count from 0 to F will occur and when the count ends the flashing P appears again. And when we press the countdown uh, button the countdown from F to 0 will occur. And now for a quick demonstration. A close look at the C program used in this project, we need to include this header file which is required for all 8051 family of microcontrollers. We assign a pin P0.0 of port 0 to this variable and we assign pin P0.1 to this variable. Function delay is defined to introduce delay between operations uh, by using a nested for loop. Inside the main function we define this character string and store within it 16 hexadecimal patterns needed to sketch the numbers from 0 to F on the 7 segment display. Next we set ports P0.0 and P0.1 as inputs where the push button switches are connected to them. Within an indefinite while loop and when no button is pressed, we will display on the 7 segment the letter P, then delay and then turn off the display and repeat this until a button is pressed. When we press the uh, up count uh, button then this if statement becomes true and this uh, for loop is executed where the count values from 0 to F are displayed on the 7 segment. Finally, when we press the countdown button, then the countdown from F to 0 will be displayed on the 7 segment. Next, we use the KL IDE to compile and execute the C program and generate the hexicode. And then use Windows command prompt to load the hexicode onto the microcontroller via Arduino. In a future video, Analog to digital converter ADC0808 will be interfaced with the microcontroller to allow the multiplexing of up to 8 analog inputs. Thank you for watching.